Hello streamers, it is Saturday morning once again. I am Allie, I'm here with Nauseam, and we are playing Return of the Overden. Last time we we got a lot of stuff knocked out. We ended up solving something like 12 fates, and um, we just managed to get a lot done which is always a wonderful thing. Nauseam is getting coffee right now, I believe, and I'm just kind of chilling here. Serenity is in the background, chewing on her food, doing some munching. You know, as you do, right, as your human's about to stream and uh, do stuff with microphones. It's been kind of funny recently. Um, I keep coming into her room, uh, which is also my stream setup area, and I just will, I'll, I'll put on my headset with my microphone, and I'll notice I've got a lot of cat hairs on the microphone, <laughs> so I have a sneaking suspicion that maybe Little Miss Mischief is rubbing up against my microphone and leaving trace evidence. But you know, that's that how, that's how it is sometimes. I'm hoping that we can get this game finished up. I seem to remember we had about over, maybe about half of the bars filled out last time we streamed. Uh, we did make a lot of progress and um, I believe Nauseam said that he thought we would be able to get it done this stream, so hopefully we will be on track to do that. Uh, I'm back now. Um, I yeah, I think we probably should be uh, should be getting on track for that. So um, I'll be back for a little bit as I get coffee. That's okay. The way that mine is set up, it requires a little bit of a, a little bit of back and forth with it, but. We might hear um, a random husband in once he finishes slaying the giant spiders of uh, enemy deface uh, or Earth. Dis bleh. I'm sorry. I've I, I woke up at 3 a.m. so I'm a little scrambled. Um, Earth deface. Earth defense force. Yes, that. But, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's a game. <laughs> But uh, I, I went over to his computer and he had giant spiders on his monitor that he was killing. killing. And I was going, you know what? I'm okay with the fact that you're killing them. I'm not okay with the fact that they're giant. I'm out of here. I'm not sticking around for that. No, sir. Ugh. But... Anyways, I'm hoping that we figure out um, there was there was a couple of people that I've seen in in our uh, wanderings of Oberden that I'm very curious to find out their names uh, Mr. Sweet Tats being one of them uh, there's another one that's one that I do not remember how I figured him out yeah, but... there, there was another one, uh, the Mr. Stabby guy. I, I don't know that we figured out his name yet. Uh, the one that stabbed the captain. Yeah, I can't say I remember either, but... Uh... But you did say that there were right. some that I would not find out until the bargain chapter, correct? That's correct. Are there? Do you remember most of them from that chapter, or is that going to be a kind of... <laughs> guess i remember a couple of them but i don't want to say outright um who they are okay other than i'll tell you you know if you're wasting a lot of time on a character you're not going to be able to figure out one way or the other i'll i'll let right. you know that's valid because this game yeah well, one of the things about this game is you really can't get too hyper focused on figuring out one specific thing you kind of have to keep a, a sense of the broader picture with it one question I will ask, um, do all of the people who disappeared or escaped on boats, do they all end up on Africa? I think so. Okay. 
I thought we did that last time. We did with one boat. We didn't with another. Oh. Um, so there, there were some that disappeared on boats that I don't think I put in. So I will probably need to go in and fix that. But I know there, there was... Like, for, for an example, the uh, boat that disappeared with uh, Nathan Peters, that was one that still didn't get confirmed yet. So, who was it, Nathan Peters? Uh, Nathan Peters was the guy who killed, he, he was the brother who killed Lars Lind. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, of, I, I know which boat you're talking about yeah. now. Yeah. Um, but, if they all end up on Africa, I need to make sure to put that in. Because, like, they give you all these options of different places, and I'm just like, I don't know, they're right in the middle of a triangle of places they could be. So, that's just how it is sometimes. Wanted to make sure of that. Um... I think the thing that I'm going to still go with is I will be asking for uniform hints. Um, yeah, I, I think we're mostly past the really involved part of the uniform hints, but um, there are some other things that, that you'll run into. That Yeah, like the Chinese topman. It's going to be yeah. fun. <laughs> um... I know I've seen one from one, one of the, I think, top men wears a turban. And I've seen one person listed as uh, hailing from India. So I guess my question I, I'm sure you've would seen be. You've a lot of Indian seamen, right? Hmm? You've what? seen a lot of Indians, Indian uh, sailors, right? Uh, personally, no. Um, I mean, in in the game, I maybe. Yeah, I, I, I thought there that was that whole sequence where the guy was with had the, the respiratory with illness the in his hammock. Oh, maybe were, those were all Indian guys. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. That's actually a fairly clever piece of costume work that they've done, though, with the the guy you're talking about with, with the, the turban. turban. Yeah. Yeah. But that, that, that's something that I'm just it. like, is, because I thought I figured out all four of that like cluster of Indians, but maybe I got it wrong. Uh, maybe oh, we'll there's, there's one missing that I missed. I guess the question I'm ultimately asking is the turban guy Indian. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to give too much away. <laughs> okay, valid. The, the the turban guy has if you know what you're looking for his turban can be a clue there's there are other clues that can lead you to him as well right okay i remember him very specifically because i found his character clues to be particularly interesting okay so i guess i'll have to do some digging with that then yeah yeah we'll get i mean if if we don't finish it today we will get very close, I believe. Okay. So. Um, and like I discussed with you earlier, next weekend is going to be a Among Us stream, which you're more than awesome. welcome to join. Um, I don't think I have your name down yet. Do you want me to sign you up for that, or? I am not sure if I can do the 9 a.m. thing tomorrow or next week. Okay. Because it is nine my time, and I've right. um, it's a little bit awkward to schedule on a Saturday at times. That's fair. So, um, I will let you know in the next couple days if I can Okay. Do that. That's valid. Um, so we will, but what I'm saying is we will not be, uh, playing Oberdin next weekend. Yeah, yeah, of course, um, of course. So... What I mean is whenever we play it next, you're probably right. going to finish it and then want to go on to something else. And actually, one of the things that I am going to be doing, uh, from now on, I've actually gotten super hooked on Outer Wilds, which was something that, that, was that you suggested. That suggestion. The, yeah, it was something you suggested the very first stream that you came on with me, I think. Was it? Okay, I couldn't remember if I had suggested it to you if it was somebody else. It's There's a selection of games that I recommend to everybody. Mm -hmm. 
but I can't recommend. I can't remember what I recommend to what to who. Um, yeah, that's that's fair. Time, so, but uh, I'm glad you did. Uh, it was actually something that I already had downloaded at the time, and I have gotten way more into it because I was just wanting to take a break from Dreamfall chapters, and that ended up being the best idea because um, it's very lighthearted, and um, when the sun exploded, I was going, uh, what? <laughs> what yeah. just happened? Pretty wild. It's unfortunate that a lot of the, uh, the trailer media for that gives away that element of it. Yeah, I, I, I didn't um, see any trailers for it, so it completely yeah. took me by surprise. In, in cert, I think at least one trailer and at least one, like, it might have even been in the Epic Game Store description of it, because it used to be an Epic-only game. That's actually where I bought it from. Mm -hmm. um, they, like, give away certain elements that you're supposed to figure out throughout the game. So not just the, the fact that the sun explodes, but, like specific elements of, of how the world works um, which was kind of frustrating I, I do appreciate that it's very exploration uh, like it encourages you to explore and it um, it rewards you for that for an example I initially didn't think much about dropping down a geyser hole and then I found something from the Nomai I'm like oh hey <laughs> There's stuff yeah, down there's here. A lot of really cool stuff. And I'm so, gonna have to go uh, mess with my coffee again really quick. But okay. I will be uh, back shortly. I am going to switch this on over to the game. So, uh, let me know when you're back. Okay, I'll pop the music off there. Pop. Get the game on up. Yeah. Game chat overlay, there we go. Okay, so while we wait for him to show back up, I'm going to get us into the game. We solved 30 fates, we've played for about seven hours. And I'm gonna take a look at our crew list. Apparently we are back now um i'll be jumping out again in another five minutes or so okay uh whoops i gotta remember that escape is not the way to get the book up okay yeah, it, it took me a while to stop fumbling around with the menus and yeah. okay so let's see we've got martin perot as unknown um charles minor we don't have anything in yet. James Wallace, same deal. Um, James Wallace, we can probably figure out from that uh, one. Um, there was a memory in the doctor's area. Duncan McKay. I don't think we've heard any Scots lately. Uh, Philip Dahl. We don't exactly know what happened. We we know that he was put in the brig because he was kind of going a little nuts. Paul Moss, we don't know who he was killed by. Um, Sam Galligan, he was speared by the beast. Um, Charles Herstick was knifed. We know that's correct because it confirmed Olus Viter. Um, let's see. There's Omid, Gol. Maybe I'm just getting my geography wrong again with uh, various things. Maybe that's... Persia is modern-day Iran. Or Iran is modern-day Persia, for reference. So it's feasible that Mr. Turbin guy could be that. Um, not that. The map on the outside. Yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, uh, so turbines did... exist pretty much uh, through throughout North Africa, through the Middle right. East, and through South Asia in various forms. Um, 
but the form that the turban takes is... kind of looks like, like a Sikh turban, if I remember. Um, dang it. Uh, where is he? He's right here. Okay, maybe not a Sikh turban because... Uh, maybe? I know that the Sikh faith uh, believes in not cutting their hair. Uh, for a specific detail, a uh, Sikh turban specifically will cover the ears. Okay. So, so, and it's more pointed in the front than that. Yeah, because uh, they wear their hair in a top knot. Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll post a reference in uh, your Discord as to what I'm referring to. Okay. This is a very Amazon photo of a Sikh turban, but... <laughs> Very Do you have like a specific like voice chat channel or uh, uh no just in general? Just I'll drop it in general. You. Or that works too. Uh yeah, we'll do it in general. Okay. Yeah, that's nothing like it. Okay. That's a picture from an Amazon link, because apparently you can buy seek turbans off of Amazon. I guess I never thought where a Sikh person would buy a turban from, but it makes sense. I generally thought that turbans were just scarves that they, like, wound up and I'm sure pinned. there's, like, a specific cut and shape to them. I, Maybe. I don't know enough to know one way or the other, like, that much about them. Who knows? Uh, I don't. Yeah. Um, okay, so Nathan Peters is alive... In Africa, so I already changed it to that. Uh, let's see, John Naples, uh, Abraham, Akbar. So William Wasim is confirmed as crushed by cargo. So Abraham's the last one that I don't have anything for. Sierra Leona. Um, Sierra Leona is in Africa as well, correct? Yes, Sierra Leone. It's um, where exactly is it? It's like south west of the um, part of West Africa that sticks out. Okay, I'm so. I'm, I'm putting down options for a turban guy. Uh, Sierra Leona, uh, Persia. Yeah. I no, that Sierra Leone is not somewhere. I, I don't believe they wear turbans there. Mm, never mind. Okay. Anyways, uh, I'm, gonna, I, I'm um, gonna stop uh, yeah. focusing on him so much. Um, then Alexander Booth and George Shirley. So. Yeah. For reference, New York is about as close to Brazil as Sierra Leone is to Iran. Or India. All right. Good to know. Yeah. Uh, Actually, it's probably farther than New York to Brazil for Sierra Leone to India. So but... I think the ones that I'm going to focus on for right now, since I know that Char Charlie is uh, correct, would be Philip Dahl, Paul Moss, and Samuel Galligan. Because I need to figure out why this is not um, not saying it's correct. Uh, he perished in the calling part three. He's another one that I recall being difficult. Like the game was very specific about the description of his death okay. in a way that I found annoying. Calling part three. Uh, let's see. Uh, go back to. I'm gonna go pour out the rest of my coffee while you look that up. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. Calling. Okay, so that was. 
that was when we were in the um, in the ocean, and it's only accessible through another corpse. Yeah, that's that really annoying sequence of deaths that you have to like yeah. jump back around a bunch of people for. Calling it part three. Sorry, notes. Okay. Tab, not that. Okay, go on downstairs. Apparently I exited the game in the middle of a memory last time. So this would be uh, this one. We're close to it. That's part five. So that guy's dead already. Let's go to hers. Part four. I believe it was this guy. How's it going, We Vote for Hobbits? Hi, We Vote for Hobbits. Good to see you. Nope, oh, that's part one. Whoops. Yeah, I figuring out the order of like where to access what memory My is uh, tedious in this at, at best. Uh, okay. I think it's the guy getting the spear through his chest who's the death of the scene. Yeah, that's... Yeah, but this is part one that we're in. So that's... You're getting a little bit of chug on your stream. I don't know if that's just me. Um, I'm checking right now to see if I'm seeing it on stream labs, and it's not showing me that. It's probably me. We've had a lot of storms and wind here lately, and the, the internet's been a little bit iffy. Ah, uh, gotcha. As a result... Okay, so go back to part four, because I think it might have been... Because I checked that guy last time, it might be this guy. Wait, did I go That's to part, part two? two? Yeah. Dang it! Well, you might be able to get to part three through part two. Uh, that's part one. That means this guy's part two. Yikes, that's right through his head. I'm gonna do a hard refresh of the stream. I'm still getting some chug. Okay. It hasn't been... It, it was a little bit rainy. The issue we've had is it's been really windy. Um, 20, 30 mile an hour up to 40. But yeah, that's just it, the Midwest. It dropped to 40 here as well, which is kind of... No, I'm talking about miles per hour wind, not uh, temperature. Oh, yikes. But yeah, it's also been... It's probably been in the 40s here. It's supposed to get up to 60 today. It was 70 for me last week. Yeah, it's it's mid-40s here. Oof. All right, I'm going to go actually pour my coffee into a cup. I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Okay. I keep missing part three somehow. So it's not that one. Not that. Not that. Maybe it's... This one. There we go. Part three. Okay. All right. 
So I think it was the death because I don't think that he's actually. Uh... What's happening here? Yeah, that. Okay, so it looks like he's attacked by Itbang instead. I don't know why I put spiked by the beast because that's very obviously him being attacked by Itbang. Looks like maybe he was going for his throat. So I'm gonna put strangled by Itbang, maybe? I would look a little closer. Okay. Um. Help. Shoot them for God's sake. Is this one of those things where the graphics style kind of makes it a little bit hard to pick out what's going on? But. Is that a knife? Okay, so he's knifed by the. by Itbang. Or. I'm not seeing any blood. That I can see. Maybe? I mean, maybe there's a drop of blood there? Uh, I'm getting a lot of hard refreshes here. Let me... Here's what I'm going to do. Um, oh, no, I don't want to create a clip. I want to reduce the source. Okay, yeah, that looks like a knife. Cause he's definitely holding on to something. Um. It might be a spike. Because thinking about it logically. I think spike only is allowed for beasts. Like, only beasts can spike people in this. Uh, speared? It's not really a spear. No, I'm gonna go... Struck? No. I mean, knifed is an option. The bottom of page two. Yeah. He was not struck with hooves, I can tell you that. <laughs> By it, bang. Because my thought is it bang was a prisoner and the rest of these. And these creatures seem to be th uh, using their own spikes in sometimes in some of the scenes. And yeah, I, I, they they either have like spears they can throw, or they can project spikes out of their tails. Was the uh... right? I couldn't tell if they like were flipping the spikes, like they would like flip their tails and throw spikes at people, or if they. Right. Could actually shoot spikes out, but like a porcupine almost. Yeah, well, porcupines can't actually shoot their spikes. I thought they could. They just no, they just stick just in the you, media. and they they kind of release them so they're stuck in you, and then they can run away. Oh. Um. Jellyfish can kind of do that. They have they have little poison darts that they can. In certain jellyfish can do that. Isn't there like a tree fog that can squirt blood or s out of their eye or something? Or maybe that's... Uh, probably. 
I thought it was like a snake or a lizard yeah, or something, but same idea. I'm getting off topic. <laughs> Welcome to yeah, more 3 a.m. brain. Um, but yeah, so my thought is that he grabbed one of the spikes from the uh, beasts and used it to uh, like cut his bonds and then attack uh, Samuel here. So, I guess I'll leave it at that. Because I'm pretty sure that that is the correct person. Um, so, in order to test that, I only need to get one more right. Uh, crew. Let's see who else is unconfirmed. Uh, Paul Moss and Philip Dahl. So let's check on Mr. Philip Dahl. Um, actually, let's see where. Are we? Where have we seen him the most? We vote for Hobbits. It confirms if you get... It, every time you get three right, it will confirm the last three that you got. But it will never tell you you got something wrong. You kind of have to... Uh, Flounder. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he was in... Wait, Philip Dahl was in The Calling? He was in part six. I believe part six is where they drag everybody back on the ship. Oh, that makes Cause sense. Because you come into the calling at the end, if you recall. Unholy captives and... The last thing was when he was in Unholy Captives part four. So let's revisit those. So that's the calling part six. Okay. Uh, this one. Let's watch it again. Wait! Don't shoot! I have treasure! I yield! Hold your fire! Okay. So, it bang. Unholy captive. And they're dragging uh, another unholy captain. Sorry, two of them. So a total of three of them made it onto the ship, it looks like. And um, her. Where was he? So we've got one of the Formosans. this guy. Uh, who was he again? That's John Davies. And apparently he's too far away and I can't climb up to him. Are you? Oh yeah. Sometimes people are out of range in this. Yeah. Which is frustrating. So he was looking out over top. The um the scene where the cargo falls all and kills the guy, there's like six people you can't get a good line on, and right. it's extremely tedious. Okay, so he's, I'm assuming, up there. Assuming that's who he is. Just making me wonder if I got the right person for Philip Dahl. So the second one for Philip is desk map or er, desk map. 
uh, Unholy Captives Part 2. Okay. Let's see, which body would that be? That would be on the gun deck. I'm, I'm on the wrong deck. Should be up here. This is the gun deck, correct? Uh, yeah, gun deck is second from the top deck. Okay. Below that is the Orlop deck, and below that is the cargo deck. Let's see. That's going to be near... This should be near here. I thought, no. Looking for the Unholy Captives one? Yeah. I think that's on the cargo deck, right? Uh, it says that the uh, beginning of Unholy Captives is location of the corpse is on the gun deck. That's oh. what it's saying. Um, okay, so that's going to be towards the bow, which was... If you can right uh, go back to the, yeah, go back to the main view. I think it's far. Uh, turn around. So you're, uh, yeah, I think it's farther in. Yeah. Well, Thomas Upton is the cook, so I think, I think it might be here. Yeah. Hey, Tiz. Good to see you here. So he was there, but that wasn't where he died. Right. Just the... I'm just trying to gather more info, info on this man. Uh, Right now, to make sure. Give him to me and I can fry the solid meal, boys. <laughs> Never know. Take it slow. One thing, gentlemen. There's a grey shell here. Let's have a look. No, get back. That's Nathaniel Peters. Who's this? Uh, officer unknown. Him? That's not a. It's just logged as that right now for some reason. Oh. sure yeah just for for historical reference officers generally aren't the ones on firing lines no right um i'm gonna take a shot in the dark i think that's uh where was the other indian guy abraham akbar yeah. It's right above Hamadou Diom. Pretty sure that Number 52. Sorry, you were looking right at him. I didn't want to spoil too much, but... Uh, that's valid. Yeah. Pretty sure that's who he was. Um, that's Peter. Uh, this guy's burned. That's Charlie. That's unknown. Where is where's the guy we think is Oh, it's this guy. Is um Peter Dahl? Yeah. F or sorry, Philip Dahl. Philip Dahl, yeah. Because he's the captain's steward. Okay, so he has the same outfit on as um, I think I'm right in thinking that he's a steward because uh, Samuel has the same outfit on. 
so he's kind of marching pretty angrily back there. Okay. And I'll have to confirm Abraham later because I'm pretty sure he was sitting there with uh, William when they were diagnosing the other guy who had the cold or the lung thing. I'm going to put that back to unknown because I don't know why it's saying that he was an officer. It's entirely possible you misclicked as well while trying to say unknown, which I did a few times. Right. Um. Okay, so not much information there. Guess it's time to go back out. And then... The next one is in Holy Captives, uh, part four. Which is where this guy dies. I guess I didn't even put in how he died. Um, I think it... I think it was torn apart because he lost a leg. I believe that it would be a good idea to rewatch that scene. Yeah, probably a good idea. I, I was going to do that anyway, but... Um, let's see, where is the location of the corpse? Cargo hold by the stairs. Okay. Not these stairs. Cargo holds down here, correct? Yeah, unholy captives part four. There we go. Uh, isn't he pressure here? Uh, Hold him down. Uh, uh, what madness is this? Twenty years my stewards had never a doubt on your sanity. Explain yourself. Those are godly beasts tearing a curse. Throw them back or doom us all. Tie him up and put him in the lazarette with those things. He may yet find his senses. Come on. Here's our door, lad. All fine, John. They're in worse spots, I think. <laughs> Where's the rest of his leg? So let's see. There's Philip. Um, so I guess what we found was the rest of his leg. Uh, oh, yeah. So what did you, uh, there's a couple details I don't know if you picked up on yet. Well, there's a bloody sword, you... for one. Yeah. And, so why uh, do you think they're dragging, uh, dragging that guy off to the, to the cargo hold? I think he cut off this guy's leg. For some reason. Not exactly sure why. I would also implore you to listen to the tran or look at the transcript. What madness is this? Twenty years, my steward, never doubt on your sanity. Um. Also, fine, John. I think I did this one when I was. 
uh, when Tiz was helping me on part three when we encountered this. So I got his name wrong, I think. Because uh, that would imply that he's not the captain's steward. That would imply that he's John's steward. And John Davies is the fourth mate. No, the, the captain's steward isn't the one lying on the ground. No, I know. I'm not trying to figure out who's lying on the ground right now. What I'm trying to figure out is who the man who's being hauled off. That's the one I've been chasing. It's, uh, so if it's, uh, if it's, because the one I'm chasing is this guy. And I have him labeled as the captain's steward. And I know there's Swedish some spoken sometime in this transcript. Well, remember you can tab in and zoom and see who's who, right? All right, and the the dead guy is that guy. Yes. So, let's see, who's this? That's a captain. That's Alfred. I think you did make a correct assessment of recognizing steward uniforms. Yeah, and that's a steward uniform. Um, who's this? That's Henry Evans. He's unknown. He was Claude. Um, one of these is probably the, um, the surgeon's maid. Probably you this guy. Hmm? You said you're going to look that one up. There, there were a couple clues that you'd recognize that might help with that. Yeah. Um... One last person to look up. It's this guy. That's William Hoskett. That's the first mate. Hard refresh here. My delay on your stream is getting unmanageable. Sorry. No, it's not on you. It's the, um, I've been getting internet chug. Right. So you're like pointing out details, and I'm like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. And then five seconds later, it'll. Right, come up gotcha. With it. Let me see if I can do a. Uh... No, I have you on low latency and 480p. So maybe my internet's just not obeying today. Right. I'll pour some coffee on my router. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> Am I correct in thinking that he's maybe not the captain's steward and the Which instead the, um, the guy that I've been chasing, the one who's being hauled away? Um, uh, how much of an answer do I want to give here? Um, somebody who's being hauled away is cursing in Swedish. 
Okay, so that would just... I guess I need to check to... Yeah, so that would confirm that he is, in fact, Philip Dahl. If he's the only Swedish crewmate. Um, okay. But that wasn't the reason that I told you to look at the transcript. Okay. I, I think you're picking up on what I'm getting at, but I'm, I'm, I might be being too vague. I'm not sure. Wrong chapter. Madness is this, 20 years my steward. Never a doubt on your sanity. Tie him up, put him in the lazarette with those things. I know I'm staring right at it, and it's just... It is a rare and valuable opportunity when this game gives you a name in a transcript. John. I thought I... Part of this is just like, you have to... His, his grammar is a little bit strange in the modern context. So what he's saying is, all's fine, John. You have been in worse spots, I think. Oh. How many you have to are there? be like me and read a bunch of Patrick O'Brien books growing up to... Uh... <laughs> I thought he was talking to someone else, is what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> um... Also worth the uh, Horatio Naples? Hornblower series is really good if you haven't seen it. They did, it was a book series, but they did like a whole mini series on it. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, there's only one I John. I forget how many Johns there are. Just one. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to go back and look at his body to see if there's a stab wound in his uh, chest because I know he's his leg is definitely it could just be that he bled out or died of gangrene but it said that he died in this particular thing so Blood out is not an option. Killed by a sword, then, would probably be... I would have said expired, but uh, expired only has old age as an option. Um, yeah, not killed by a sword by Philip Dahl. Haha. There we go. Three more correct. So Samuel Galligan is confirmed. So that's John also Naples. told you something. John Naples. And Abraham Akbar. It's also told you that your other guesses are wrong. The ones that you have fully guessed, right? Does that make sense? Right. Um, so... You asked me a question at the beginning of the stream and I didn't fully realize the context of it when you did. Um, but I gave you a deliberately partial answer to uh, the question about where people ended up. About Africa? Um, yeah. Which means that Nathan Peters is still incorrect. I 
think. I still didn't take Charles Hairstick. So I'll have to go back and look at that. It's probably... Um, I'll be honest. I mean, part, part of it is I'm really bad with faces. Um, I had a hard time just looking at the faces, remembering which midshipman was which. Right. Like, they all have the same basic facial shape, the same haircut, and they're all about the same height, and they all have the same accent. Mm -hmm. um, so I found that. And they're all wearing the same clothes, of course. Of course. So you give me a partial answer saying about where people ended up. I thought you said everyone ended up in Africa. Everyone who made it off the ship alive. So maybe he isn't alive. I think in the Doom there's a hint that will help you with that. Although, to be fair, it's one of the more annoying things to notice in this game. And I also don't remember which part it's in. Doom. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, who is left that I made a guess on? Nathan. Charlie. And... We, we didn't make a guess on Philip Dahl's um, fate, I guess. Because the last time we see him is that last bit wh where he's carried off to the cargo hold. Uh, which is really frustrating. So, maybe, I don't know, maybe he's killed by a beast? Or maybe I just haven't found his death yet. I'll be totally fair, I don't remember exactly what his answer is either. Um... He's carried in this direction, so maybe I just haven't found his his body. He's carried in this direction. That's the body there. Why they put him in here? This is one of the uh, crabs. Is there a, a scene there? There is a scene there, but I, I don't remember exactly. I think it was, yeah, it was with Soldiers of the Sea. It was a different capture thing. Oh, you're right, you're right. Um, yeah, Winston Carter, or sorry, uh, yeah. Smith. Winston Carpenter. Carpenter. Uh, so, not what I was looking for. smell coffee, I think that maybe I'm going to be getting coffee soon. It's plus with this game. Yes. Okay, let's see. That was a stowaway. It's wild how much I've forgotten about this game. Just, I, it, it was not that long ago that I played it. 
but uh yeah i don't know i'm confused where they took him wait can i open these things doesn't look like it this door's locked there's a spike through there How do how do I get in there? Is that possible to get into? Uh, no, not at the moment. I'll just tell you right out because I spent a lot of time fussing with it and it, I found it annoying. Uh huh. Well, they definitely carried him in di this direction. And. In the transcript. Let's see. Thro uh, throw him in the lazarette. So he's in the lazarette. Uh, problem is, where the heck is the lazarette? Oh, that was the room with the lock. You can see it on the map as well. Deck nabbit. Thank you, dearest. I have been delivered coffee. Yummy, yummy coffee. Um, hmm. Yeah, that that's definitely the missing foot. Is this room something that I'll be able to get into when I have the bargain chapter only? I don't move too much away. You'll you'll see what's up with that room when you when you need to. Ah. All that I'll say. I know it's annoying, but it's like if I just tell you. No, I know. The whole story's gonna progress. It it loses its. Uh, it's one of those games that loses a lot of its um, punch. Okay. Um, I guess I have to give up on him then. For now. Uh, let's see. So I was still looking at Philip. Gonna delay him. Nathan Peters and Charlie. So, let's see, Charlie was, I think you already confirmed for me that I got his name correct, so it might be the method of his death that was incorrect. What is it? Um, Confirm a name with, oh, you know, you're right, if it confirms, um, hmm. No, well, I'm not sure. Well, because you confirmed his name, like, I think it was part Some other two, place. because uh, he was in the um, livestock slaying memory. Yeah. I think it was... I guess for some reason I didn't think you could confirm a name without confirming all three elements. You know, person, death, cause of death. Um, no, right. I'm yeah. saying that you Thank confirmed you. it not the game well no the game doesn't let you hmm. <laughs> yeah no I, I think i have it backwards because you, you can change what name is tied to that in the um picture at the beginning of the journal right um i just i saw that that was grayed out and i was very confused because I, I couldn't remember which one was Charlie. Right. And I still don't remember if that one is Charlie, to be totally honest with you. Because yeah, all the midshipmen okay. look the same to me. Um, That's valid. Um, well, we know it's not Peter Milroy, because we know what happened to Peter Milroy. Right. 
the only other option would be Thomas Lanky, which we don't have a clue who Thomas is yet. Dog on controls. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, that was in the escape. a lot of time hitting escape by accident or right. trying to scroll through stuff. and. Uh, let's go to the escape part three. Because I think that's when we see him almost get stabbed. Because that, that's what we were looking at, I think. So that was up top. Blurg. <laughs> so many bodies. Yeah, it does get a little bit overwhelming towards this part. Let them go. Okay, so he is a little stabified, or not stabified, uh, shot. Because we come down here while well, all that's going on. That definitely looks like a knife to me. And, uh, who. Let's see. No, I wanted to look at his face, thank you. Yeah, that's all his fighter. Hmm. Fifteen memories. Show memories. The escape. Maybe I should go back and check the transcript of when he actually died. Um, Brennan. Brennan's mother, perhaps son. Okay, so that didn't help. So what's he talking about when he says pulling Pete back? Um, so... Pete... Oh gosh, who... There was a, when I searched through who I'm assuming is Charlie, um, when I searched through his memories, there was a memory where he was on, uh, because we're in the escape right now. The doom. It, it, yeah, in, in the Doom chapter, um, the guy that exploded, um, yeah. Who was killed by the explosion? There, he was attached to a uh, lifeline, and um, Charlie was holding the rope, trying to pull him back. I guess. So that that's how I figured out Pete's name. That was. Yeah, Peter Milroy exploded, and that was confirmed. Yeah, that's so, correct. 
which is another thing tying that name to Charlie. I think. Um, trying to think of. You know what? What the heck? I'm going to change this to. I keep on hitting the wrong thing. I'm gonna change this to uh, Thomas just for giggles. I have to go back and because there's two Charlies, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, crew. Because there's Charles Minor, and there's Charlie uh, Charles Hairstick. Yeah. But one of them's French. So the thing I can only think is maybe I don't know I'm spending too much time on it yeah it's one of those things I think you have the the, the pieces for but it's it, it's a lot of jumbled stuff going on at once right it's also the hour break time if you want to take a step away yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do Put it back to this. Where, where's the door? There it is. You know, I have a thought that we're not going to finish t today. It's possible. I mean, I recall this being the part that was a little bit slow going. Yeah. And it doesn't help to be playing this uh, at... Um, this, you know, you got up at 3 a.m. So, <laughs> yeah, I did. Th this game really benefits from not being sleep deprived. It really does. Because the neurons just aren't firing the way I thought they would. Yeah. The, yeah, the connections aren't. Yeah. But if you want to step away and, uh, do anything you need to. This would be the time. We'll start back up at uh, eleven ten ish. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. Sup nerds, sup tiz, how are you doing? How's it going? Glad to hear you're doing all right. Yeah, that's right, you got the vaccine. I'm glad that you're on the route to being safe. I'm kind of jealous, to be honest. One of the things that my husband and I were wondering about was whether or not we were eligible because you're eligible because you work for a university, correct? And the, the eligibility requirements in your state is different than in mine. Because in my state, the... Um, second yeah you're an essential worker I'm tech uh, my husband and I are technically um, uh, that I mean that's up to you um, my my husband and I are technically classified as essential workers as well because we indirectly work for the DoD um, so we we got a letter at the beginning of lockdown saying that um, 
saying that we were essential work workers. So, te sorry, I'm trying to do two things at once. That's not a good idea. Um, so, basically, we have a letter saying that we are essential workers. And um, when I went to look at the eligibility requirements, it wasn't saying essential workers. It was saying law enforcement, um, pregnant women, um, and basically not anything about um, what we would be in the long run. Which means I need to go check with my boss and say, hey, are we included in eligible people or... I don't know. Yeah, we're split into phases as well. We're in like phase 2B or something, 2C. I know that uh, 50 year olds and up are allowed to get the shot now as well. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at there. This coffee's tasty. It's very, very tasty. Oh man, nightmares suck. They really suck. I had a nightmare this morning that it, it made me wake up wide awake and I think it was like 3.30 that I woke up and I just could not get back to sleep. The brain's a fickle thing. I'm back whenever you're, uh, hey. whenever you're ready here. What time is it? We've got two more uh, minutes. A couple more minutes. Need a couple more sips of coffee to try and jumpstart. Um, I was I was just talking with Tiz about how nightmares suck. <laughs> yeah. Because I I had the kind of nightmare where it was my brain taking someone I loved and putting them in the position of an abuser. Which I know they would never do that in a thousand years. And yet my brain was like, what if they did though? I'm like, really? You had to do that? Thanks. Now I'm not going to be able to sleep. It's just super rough. Just going to take a quick drink of my coffee here. go ahead and get on back to it. I may I may ask for a couple more hints and you can yeah. uh, choose what what to divulge of course. I don't want anything super big but just like small things that I may have overlooked. I, I think you're on track to piece together things you've already seen you just need to kind of get back into it yeah so and nudges are allowed as well <laughs> yeah um but you're making good progress you've done what six this time no i think i only got three okay um what memory do you think i should go examine with what we've done um, today. I think you can figure out the other midshipman. Thomas Lanky? Alright, let me let me rephrase that. I think you can figure out both midshipmen. Um, but I won't tell you which I won't say which memory, but like you I you have all the memories where they die and what they do him. and yeah, yeah, exactly. 
Okay. Uh, the problem with I'm gonna go back to Alfred. Alfred's death, I think. For a second, I couldn't figure out why the music was playing. That's because I still left it on. I'm I'm a dumb. I was just like, I know that's not the game music anymore. Whoops. <laughs> um. Where's Alfred? There he is. Torn apart by the beast. He perished in escape part one. Okay. And his body is over here. This guy is John Davies. That's Ola's Fighter. Not gonna lie, I thought John Davies was the other sh shipman. This is the first mate. That's the guy that I think is Charlie. I don't know... Okay. So I never went upstairs because I couldn't, because the captain's blocking the way. And I can't go further down because... Wannabe Charlie is in the way as well. <sighs> okay, so this tells me nothing. Maybe part two? I don't. Uh, let's see. What was part two? That was Paul Moss. I wonder if I can get downstairs with that one. was upstairs. And it was this one. Last one. Move quick. Do not take the last push. <laughs> Same stuff here. Still Davies. That's still Olus. Now he's here. So this is definitely the guy who crawls and dies in this room. Large cow. Dun, 
to the carpenters, get them wrapped up in cedar last rites. Hit her here. So someone's someone else is dead in this one. I, uh, I think we discussed this one before. Um Did we? Like several streams ago. And how's it going, Tomar? Hi Tremor. Got somebody in uh, chat. Uh, um, we're we're the, the death in this one is the cow. Oh yeah, but take him to the carpenters, get him wrapped up in Cedar Last Rites. And the cow that dies is a her, I thought. So And you wouldn't give last carrying a body in the scene. I think that's a death you've already figured out. Um So I guess it would be Renfred and Solomon, maybe. Because uh, they did, uh, they died of a tragic illness. I don't know, maybe. I think maybe I need to go back and look at. Uh, look at that. Maybe. I'm going to look back at the crew and actually look at. Okay, so that's who we keep on seeing. It's Peter Milleroy. That that looks like another midshipman. Maybe that's Thomas. Hold on. Poor memories. He's in the holy, unholy captives. Soldiers. And he was he was in a bitter cold as well. I need to go back and look at a bitter cold. So, because that'll possibly determine who's who. Yeah, Tamara, <laughs> I always felt bad for the cow. Poor Moo Moo. Yeah, I, I was, I was going. We can't uh, say who murdered the poor cow. Um. That's one more deck down. What was this one? I, I always figured it was the chicken that did it that you see on the top <laughs> deck. <laughs> yeah, we still haven't figured out the fate of the monkey. Okay, so let's see. That's... Tremor, I'm sure you're cool about it, but uh, obviously no spoilers on stuff. Okay. I think we just figured that out. So, this is Charlie. Because he's the one who's puking. I think I just figured that out. So that that would be Charlie. That would be uh, stop focusing on the wrong person. That means this would definitely be Thomas Lanky. Um because he's also there as well in the same memory. Who's this guy? That's Peter Milroy. And 
this is the butcher who I th think we already figured out. Gosh darn it. Yeah, the, but the butcher is confirmed. Yeah. Sure he got smashed in the face by the tail. <laughs> Uh, no, he got spiked. Spiked? Well, yeah, but... Yeah. Uh, the cook was the one who got uh, clubbed by the beast. <laughs> Charlie's... <laughs> Charlie's friend call him Upchuck. Goodness. Uh, that's, that's a good one. Okay, so... I think we figured out Charlie... And uh, um, Thomas. So the last one would be Nathan, I think. Because we still haven't figured out Nathan. Well, and Philip Dahl. Though I don't know that we're going to figure him out. I'm going to take a wild guess and say that. Actually, hold on, no. I'm going to try and see if we've seen him in any other items or any other memories. He's not in this one. Or is he? So this guy is the owner of... Yeah. Okay, so the monkey survives. I am assuming the monkey survives because Henry Evans is the owner of the monkey. Okay, so those two... I'm gonna come back to... Okay, I think this guy is the surgeon's mate, because he's always in the Sherman's, uh, surgeon's area. Oh, confirmed. There we go. Okay. So I was gonna say, yeah, there's only one person who's barfing in the cow scene. Um, and that's kind of the easy way to figure that out. So we've got Thomas, Charlie, and uh, those three. Sweet. We got six already today. That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So... I still kind of want to figure out Mr... Um, Question, do we hear Mr. Sweet Tats uh, talking at any point? I don't remember. I don't actually think so. And for reference... And I honestly don't remember what clue that I used to figure him out. Uh... Yeah, he, he's sort of notoriously annoying. Um... What about Mr. Stabby? This guy. Is he also annoying? Um, that I don't remember. I, you can click on him and see like how many triangles. So he has three. Yeah, he's um, pretty difficult. Um, I think he's... Let's see. How many top men do we have filled out? None. Great. Yeah, the top men are usually the harder harder ones to figure out. Um, I don't think he's... I don't think he's Persian. So that... I, I, I definitely think he's a top man. Uh, so that would make him Lewis Walker, Nicholas, 
for Timothy, potentially. Um. Oh, this guy looks a one. He's only got one. I don't remember him. Picked it in the underway. Looks like a Jimbo to me. <laughs> uh, let's figure out this guy. Because if he's super easy to figure out, that would be helpful. Okay, so he's in a bitter cold. Cold part one. Man, I can tell that I am tired because I put bitter cord. C-O-R-D. Cold. Part one. Uh, he is in... Unholy Captives, part two. P2. Uh, Soldiers of the Sea. P2 is where he's a mort. And part one. Okay, so I think he's a topman. Because it looks like we see him in the electrocution. So let's let's go up to the electrocution and see what's going on. Get a closer look at his face. Maybe he's our Persian. I actually watched Treasure Island recently, or not Treasure Island, Treasure Planet. Oh, nice. We did um, Muppet Treasure Island for a, my Discord's movie night a ah. while back. We had it, November was only movies starring Tim Curry. <laughs> um, so we did that. We did uh, Rocky Horror, obviously. Yeah. Um, he was in a couple Scooby Doo animated movies as well. That's pretty interesting. Okay. What's that guy? Oh wait, so this guy is a topman. So that actually helps me with this guy because he was stabbed. Was he stabbed? He was in stabbed in the escape. Uh, so where's the guy that I'm looking for? Is he all the way over there? Is it just me, or is that guy got the turban on? I can't. I can't exactly tell. I'm not seeing the guy that I'm looking for. What are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for... Uh... Ah. Okay, I know I know what you're This what you're guy. For. Yeah. The one triangle dude. Yeah. And I'm not seeing him in this sketch at all, which leads me to believe he's he... maybe not a topman. It's not a huge hint, but where he is how can I say it? There's two masts on this ship. Gotcha. So oh there he is. He's all the way over there. Yeah. It, it, yeah, I, I didn't want to spoil anything, but 
I found him kind of frustrating to notice here. Okay, so he's definitely a top man. He's a top man. He's a top man. And he's a top man. Which... I always said he looked really Russian. Who? Uh, this guy. Though I could be wrong. But I also say that Mr. Sweet Tats looks Russian. I like just anybody with a striped shirt and a giant beard. Very <laughs> Russian look. Yeah, I know. Have a good time, uh, Tiz. Um, okay. And I, I've talked about it before that, like, there's some of these where I kind of just felt bad that, uh, yeah, I, exactly what Tremar just said, that, uh, I know. I, I kind of feel like I'm being a little bit racist sometimes. I know. I've been feeling that this entire time. Um,. And obviously, it's because this game has sort of more traditional, yeah, or like, oh, this 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 guy's forehead is distinctly Irish, so therefore, yeah. it's like, oh, I feel kind of bad, but then it it's turns like, out I to be don't true, want and you're like, yeah, okay. Be profiling, but God, yeah, the um, you already figured him out, but the the Irish steward mm -hmm. looks like a like early 20th century racist caricature of an Irishman at yeah. times. <laughs> I'm kind of like, I, I don't really like being right about this. I know. And like, oh, that's a black guy. <laughs> yeah. And, and I was completely wrong about him as well. He was yeah. American, actually. Which also kind of makes sense. Well, there's, uh... yeah, there's more than one black person on the ship. But you already saw that. I did. Yeah, I think so. I didn't think I did. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no. <laughs> You're fine. I, you, no. You'll figure. I, that, that's not a hint that's gonna help you. Which one um, did I miss? Oh no. You'll be fine. Ah. Well, because there was one that got murdered by the. Uh, by the crab monster, right? Um, and then later on, you see another um, black crew member boarding the dinghy. Is it the? Is that the one that is always like, "Oh no, something's happening yeah. in front of me." The, the guy who's always in the background. Like, Ble yeah, yeah I, I, okay. I'm gonna stand over here. Yeah, I forgot about him briefly. And if it's worth anything, I don't even remember what his name is. Like half the crew members on this, so. Okay. Huh. Yeah, you're either green or white, depending on your, or blue or white, depending on your uh... settings. Yeah, the settings. Um... He's he's not a ship steward. <sighs> I set him as a steward thinking that he was, but I don't think he is. Where's New Guinea and where's uh, Persia? Because I suck at... Um... So, Persia is Iran, which is the Middle East. Mm -hmm. um, and New Guinea? Let me pull up a map. New Guinea is... Oh, for Christ. <laughs> Sorry, the, uh, Google is being a little tedious. Uh, it's right north of Australia. So it's southeast, very, it's like the very southeast Asian country. Okay. The, the most southeast. He disappeared in the doom. I'm looking at Turban Guy right now. 
because I think he might be our Persian. But I'm gonna come back to him. Because I still need to chase down Mr. One... Uh, one triangle. Some more. Yeah, I honestly don't even remember who he is. Uh, so we. I mean, he doesn't have a very distinct looking face. But... No, he doesn't. He's very generic um... looking. Uh, let's see. We just looked at the. Uh, ex... what, what is this chapter that we're in? So you're just looking at the scene where the guy was uh, struck by lightning. Yeah, electrocuted. That that was Soldiers of the Sea. Um, I believe so, yeah. Yeah, that was part one. What was part two? Oh, his death. Um... It. Okay, so he doesn't speak in that one. Where else is he? He's in Unholy Cav Captives Part 2. Oh yeah, Tamar. I told her about that, but, but I, I was told that like um, part way through my playthrough of this as well. Yeah. I don't know who was the first person to ever notice it, but I feel like nobody has ever noticed it um, without some hint to it that right. I've known. Right, and that, that hasn't really been helping me that much, honestly. Yeah, it, it helps with some things in certain areas if, like, it, it helps some people in certain areas in certain contexts, but it's not a uh, not a total game changer. I found it helped me a lot when there were um, like in Soldiers of the Sea, there's the part where there's like 10 bodies laying around trying to remember which, like in what order they died. But I think that's a part that you've passed already. Right. I'm going to go check out um, part two. So I I'm think. looking up New Guinea on Google and it has a review score of 4.1 stars. Um, which is always very funny to me when people like do Google reviews of countries. <laughs> America, zero out of ten, would not visit. Uh, I think we're gonna be down. Let's see what more. United States is. United States um, does not have a. Doesn't have a review. No. Oh, you know what? It's because um, it's not the country New Guinea that it's looking at. It's it's highlighting specifically New Guinea National Park. It looks very pretty. It's got mountains. It's got like jungle with a bunch of pretty flowers. Hmm. Okay, so these guys are Russian, I believe, because um, they were saying don't cheat. I said this before. Uh, stop your cheating. Worry about yourself. Apparently. Um, okay, so this. Give me just one moment. I have to uh, step into the restroom. I'll be right back. Okay. So, Sweet Tass is not anywhere near that. So, I go back, go back to my profiling. Um, is there only? All right, I'm back. Okay, so there's only one. Russian 
uh, Tottenham, apparently. So... Ironically, the man with the last name Toparov, not the Topman. Yeah. I think... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if... Uh, Lark. This guy. Leonid Volkov. Yeah. I think that's I think that's who he is. He was shot by Emily, I believe. I don't know why it said it was unknown. That was Emily Jackson, I think. I'll have to confirm that I actually got because uh, that that scene was in the escape. And... Well, she knows who shot that person in the picture. We already that, we've that, already confirmed who Emily Jackson is. Yeah, that was Emily Jackson. Yeah, right here. We haven't confirmed that that person is landed yet, even though right. he looks. Russian, given his beard and shirt. Well, it, the reason I'm saying that he's Russian is because uh, in this particular memory, sorry for the... Um, he's in there. Okay. Yeah. Um, come on. Game. Go back to Bitter Cold. Um, we're, we're right next to him, and in the dialogue, there's... I, I'm I'm pretty sure this is Russian. Yeah, I'll just confirm that that is Russian. Yeah, <laughs> because he said, um, uh, someone says, stop your cheating, and someone says, worry about yourself. So one of these three people, or sorry, two of these three people are Russian. So, um, this guy is, I think... I don't know, one of the other Russians. Um, this guy is one of the gunmen. And if I remember correctly, there wasn't... Damn controls. There wasn't a thing for gunmen, right? It was just topmen, seamen... Passengers. Yeah, the gunner is the officer in charge of that stuff. Right, which we already figured him out. But the gunman, if they have a firing squad, it's going to be um, seamen from seamen. Yeah, right. So, which means maybe that... Tubman too. I'm not actually sure, but it, um, it, it's going to be the the sailors basically. Right. We had a whole discussion about that, about uh, like what it actually meant to be referred to as Miss back in uh, back in this time period, and yeah, it's interesting stuff. Uh, and yeah, Miss we did we didn't did actually do mean a, unmarried. We did do a coin flip, and the way that we figured out Emily and Miss Jane was um, last last session. We ended up. Um, figuring out those identities through Henry Evans because uh, Nauseam finally prodded me enough to figure out that they were in Africa. Which is making me wonder what the heck is wrong with Nathan Peters? Because um, he disappeared in the doom. So maybe he. Or I just went with one looks no. younger and distinctly in a higher class than the other. Um, well, but we... I'm curious if there's anything more than that. Um, Given that we've already maybe... solved it. 
we solved the one brother, I thought. Uh, the other Peters. There is more. Okay. Um, there's more to what? Or there, there are more hints as to which which person is which. I guess I didn't spend too much time hanging out in their uh, in their their cabin, so I'm not sure. Cloaked by Nathan Peters. So we, we we've confirmed that he is in fact Nathan Peters through Lars Lind. It's just something about his fate that's incorrect. Um, I suppose Alabaster Girl, I don't know if... Uh, I, I would be fine hearing about it as long as it doesn't spoil anything that we haven't figured out yet. Yeah, no, go but, ahead. Uh, you. I can take all the hints I can get. Well, no, this is about Emily Jackson and uh, oh, the, stuff the other that lady. We figured out. Okay. Oh, she is. I did look that up, though. It apparently Miss was still used to refer to married women in England. As in mistress. In, uh, yeah, like as opposed to mistress, who is the head of a household, and then Mrs. would be the abbreviation of mistress. Um, however, I don't think that the devs looked that hard into it. Yeah, so you could still be referred to as Miss if you were um, a young married woman of high class, and then you would just be referred to as, you know, your name um, if you were not. Am I profiling too hard on this, do you think? I, I think you're moving in the right track here. This guy is Russian again. Which means he's... However, I will say that there's enough information in the game to not just point flip these guys. Uh, okay. Did we figure out this guy? I think we did figure out Abraham Akbar, didn't yeah. we? I was going to say, well, one of the things I was thinking of mentioning yes. when you figured him out earlier was uh, you can actually figure out exactly who all of these four guys are from this exact scene. Really? Uh, um, because all of uh, you've noticed this already, but all the bunks are numbered. And obviously, people are only going to be sitting in their own hammock. Right. I think I already... And the empty hammock is the guy who's, you know, not in his hammock trying right. to help save. So. This guy is you've already sitting out, in an unnumbered hammock, though. Yes. But he's one of the four Indian seamen. So if you can figure the three out, you can figure the fourth, basically. Yeah, I already figured him out. Okay. Yeah. That was how I deduced them. Mm -hmm. um, the way you did, obviously, is is perfectly valid as well. I'm going to put this guy as one of the Russians, because I need to move forward. Okay. If you get it right, um, I will tell you uh, what the clue is. Okay. To what clue? To which, to which one is actually which, which one's and how which? you're supposed to okay. know. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's going to give me that yet. I think you uh, have. Mm, I'm not sure. Turn with east, uh, because I don't have three yet. Well, if you get both Russians, you'll have. Three, if you got doom. the other one. Let's go right. to the Doom. Um. During the events of this chapter. Okay, so he disappear disappeared before that.
was torn apart by the beast. He was definitely a top man. So he's not Russian. Because we've already decided the other Russian guy. Oops. Okay, so this is where he disappeared. This guy. Uh, which means he... Okay, so that was part six. Where's the location of that corpse? Yeah. That's on the main deck. That's going to be the one where the, the guy blows up. Right. Yeah. Seriously. It, it doesn't make me cringe as much as the uh, ship artist's death, though. Right. I think we should be good. I don't think we're going to have to go back to uh, that particular memory, hopefully, today. Uh, not holding my breath, though. Uh, yeah. Where was I going? I already forgot. Um, we were. He's going to be next to the uh, guy who got electrocuted. This guy, um, yeah. Right by the gunnel, yeah. I think, or is that uh, Lind? Hmm? Uh, no, I think I got the right one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're, you're good. Okay. I'm going to take a brief sip of my coffee because it's getting cold. So that's Thomas. That's Peter Milroy. Uh, that's Mr. Tats. That's Olus. He drowned. <laughs> he fell off. There he goes. <laughs> that's that's relatively easy to figure out. Drowned by an no. What? Why is? Oh, I I I think the. I think you understand the implication of what drowned him. Yeah. It... Hmm. Beast. Uh, big, has, has tentacles. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, this guy's difficulty is going down. Um, he's definitely a top man. I know that much. Because he keeps on crawling around on the top. Uh... Yeah, what the heck? He looks like a neck. Still there? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still here. Oh, crap. What's going on? Looks like my... Oh no. Okay, I see that um, stream's disconnected. It's um, it's trying to reconnect. Did we? Uh, I think we lost you there for a second. Uh, yeah. Is it still streaming? Yeah. It's streaming now. It it was flickering for a bit. Yeah, so I, I saw a notice on my stream lab saying that um, there was some kind of network error and that yeah. stream had disconnected. I couldn't hear you on Discord either, so. Weird. Maybe there was a uh, anyway. internet blip. You're back up now. 
Okay. Sorry about that. Um, torn apart by unknown beast. Definitely a topman. Um, I said I was going to put him as Nicholas. Wait a second. I feel like I've seen the name Nicholas somewhere. Yeah, like I was getting that too. Um, like you as can't a... hear it or no oh, shit. I think it's doing it again. Is it? Yeah, it is. All right. Um, we are kind of approaching the end of. Yeah, it's uh, the flickering thing is something I've seen Twitch do a lot lately. Uh, can you hear me now? Hello? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. That's weird. Um, I was saying that Twitch has been doing this for a couple times in line. Um, but this is approaching the end of stream time. Okay. I just want to get Nick... Or, I, I think this is Nick. <laughs> Twitch, stop tr twitching. Yeah, I know, right? Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I could almost swear that I've seen the uh, name Nicholas in a transcript recently. I don't remember. I'll be honest with you. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think because we saw uh, the steward, right? Uh, the um, the captain steward's name, which was John. I do not remember Nick. The captain I'm sorry, steward's but name was it's John. It's doing it again. Oh God. Um. You still there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Um, yeah, it's you might want to try doing a full restart of the stream. Uh, I don't know that it would be worth it since we're almost done. I All right. I, I think I'm just gonna call it quits on the game for All right. now. We'll get back to it then, and then uh... quit the title. <laughs> yeah. And uh, put us over to um, chat for a bit. I'm just seeing no signal, so. Yeah. So. Post a screenshot in your Discord. No, I, I see it. I, I see the okay. guy with his hands in his face. Which is really dumb. Um, Actually, I'm going to remove that image because it has all of my bookmarks <laughs> showing. <laughs> Oops. That's okay. Okay. By the way, Tremor, uh, this has a chat box in it, so you should be able to uh, see your chats if you end up typing anything. You're in the starting soon screen. Not no, the, I know. Uh, I need to okay. make a uh, stream ending card as well. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I just... Ha I'm lazy and I haven't gotten around to it because um, that requires me to make another scene that has Streamlabs in it and I haven't gotten around to it. And I'm probably not going to get around to it today because, you know, um, I'm tired as heck. <laughs> so I, I will keep an eye out uh, when I go through this footage again to see if I locate where I saw Nick. Hey, tr uh, Tremor. Ha is it Tremoir or Tremor? Because I'm, I'm, I'm reading it as Tremoir. Thanks for following. Okay, so Tremoir. Uh, thanks for following. I appreciate it. 
Um, right. I, I will keep an eye out for uh, where I saw Nicol- Nicholas in um, the transcripts. And I think I'm going to go take a nap because I'm so tired. I'm going to sign off myself and I will uh, talk to you later. All right. Well, one. thanks for joining. And Tremar, thanks for following. And hope to see you on Tuesday uh, for our stream of uh, Dreamfall Chapters and Outer Wilds because I'm going to be doing both because I'm an overachiever. Have a good day, day and have a good weekend, guys. Bye.